Um, and so as an organizing organization, you know, a lot of our work is around developing community members around their political analysis. And of course, one of the biggest things that we deal with as a community is policing, harsh policing, over policing. Um, and so we always hear overwhelmingly from a community how we feel and how we're impacted by police in general. So it's interesting that the same police who are trained to criminalize, who brutalize our communities, um, are looked at differently when they're in school campuses. And so the same type of officers that can kneel on somebody's head are then somehow deemed as like acceptable to be around our smallest, and most vulnerable children. Um, and so, you know, in Oakland specifically, um, until our resolution was passed to eliminate Oakland School Police Department, our schools were policed by three different policing entities. Um, and so to Ms. Henning's point, even about like the landscape and the experience of being over-policed, our students were policed by city police, their own internal force, the school security officers, but they also come from housing police. They get on transit and there's transit police, the same police that killed Oscar Grant. So, you know, that kind of builds um, the experience that a lot of our students were having and police, you know, from our experience and mine personally too, they I have never felt resourced or supported by officers, but I have seen them create harm, create harm also by um, absorbing and taking up all the resources that our students need. We have schools that have lead in the water, teachers don't have books. We have so many issues as far as like funding in our schools. And so, you know, then we also had a district that was funding school officers $6 million a school year or more. Um, and so, you know, and at the same time, the disproportionate amount of harm that was happening was, you know, you have a, a school population of Black students that make up less than 30%, but were 70% of suspensions, expulsions, arrests. Um, and I think, you know, to your point, I think uh, somebody made a point about like student behavior, right? And so a lot of this is kid behavior, it's normal behavior, um, but it's only criminalized when it's Black. 